Hey, what's up you guys? My name's Mina. Welcome to my channel, Mina Reads. And today I want to tell you guys about all of my anticipated releases for 2021. Before we get further into the video, I do just want to say that this video is being sponsored by Book of the Month. Book of the Month is a super popular and fast-growing online book service for readers. Their mission is to promote new and emerging authors and help readers discover new books that they'll love. Each month, their team vets hundreds of books and gives readers their choice from a carefully curated selection of new and early release titles, so you can spend more time reading and less time researching. Book of the Month is a risk-free service, so you can skip any month at any time and you will not be charged. And Book of the Month has the best price for new release hardcover fiction. You can score your first box for $9.99 with the code NEWBOOKS. This month, their selections include The Removed by Brandon Hobson, which is about a Cherokee family navigating their grief as a result of their teenage son's murder. The Prophets by Robert Jones Jr., which is about two enslaved men and their forbidden romance. Outlawed by Anna North, which is set in the 1800s in the Wild Wild West about a woman who ends up joining a group of outlaws. The Survivors by Jane Harper, which is a small town mystery novel. And finally, The Dating Plan by Sarah Desai, which is a fake dating rom-com. So, if you'd be interested in any of these titles, the link to sign up for Book of the Month is in the description below, and be sure to use the code NEWBOOKS to get your first box for $9.99. Okay, back to the video. So I'm going to talk about them in order of release date. I think there might be like 20... 20 something ish titles here and I'm just really excited it seems like there's a lot of really cool stuff coming out in 2021 and I wanted to talk to you guys about that and I'm sorry if I'm like a little bit off I haven't filmed a video in a really long time and I just I don't know I'm just a little bit weird in front of the camera these days but I'm trying my best so let's just get into these anticipated releases so in January I only have one book coming out that I'm really excited about but that is The X Talk by Rachel Lynn Solomon I think that's her name and uh, this is a adult romance it's about these two people who work for like a radio station and they basically start this show this like segment on their radio station which is called the X talk where it's two X's and they have to talk to each other um, and just like I don't know talk about things and argue or whatever that's the idea of the show however the two people who have to work together they are just co-workers they're not actually exes but they're kind of like faking an ex relationship and it just sounds interesting like I love anything to do with like fake relationships I think it's always a fun romance trope and I've heard nothing but good things about it it comes out January 26th and I'm really excited about it hopefully it'll be amazing also I think the cover is really cute okay so in February there's two releases that I'm really really excited about so the first one is this close to okay by Lisa Cross Smith uh, so this close to okay by Lisa Cross Smith I'm pretty sure that this is a more like serious um, fiction novel about this woman who comes across a man who is about to commit suicide and she is able to kind of talk him off the ledge and they go to this diner and they eat together and they kind of just like share their stories and talk to each other and I don't know it just sounds like a really close and like maybe intimate look at mental health and like trauma and stuff like that and I, I just am hoping that it's going to be like a really beautiful and like heart-wrenching kind of story and I don't know if this is a debut novel or not but I don't think I've ever heard of this author before so it'll be exciting to try a new author and also try to branch out a little bit because I don't typically read a lot of like literary fiction. I want to read some more serious and like hard-hitting books in 2021 so this is why it's on my list. Also the cover for this is just so gorgeous like can we discuss? Can we discuss it? It's genuinely amazing like iconic. The next book that I'm really excited about is um, First Comes Like by Alicia Ray. This comes out February 16th and this is the third book in her Modern Love series. So this is about a character named Gia and Gia is a Muslim hijabi um, like influencer. She has like a YouTube channel and Instagram and everything like that and she has been featured. She's the friend of some of the characters in the other books in the Modern Love series which is um What's it called? The Right Swipe and Girl Gone Viral and I really enjoy both of those books so I think I'm going to enjoy this a lot. I really have been wanting and craving more romance with Muslim leads and so I'm really excited about this. I'm hoping that the representation will be handled well and yeah I'm just excited to read about a hijabi romance heroine. Hopefully it'll be really good. Last book that I'm really excited for that's coming out in February is Honey Girl by Morgan Rogers and this is about a young black woman. She is a PhD student and she's really serious about her life plan and everything but she ends up getting drunk in Vegas one night and marrying someone while she's drunk so it's the whole like married in Vegas trope. I thought that this was going to be a romance but I've actually been reading some of the early reviews and they're kind of making it seem like maybe it's not a romance and maybe more it's more of like a like a character study or a journey of like personal development on the part of our main character. I really did think that it was going to be a romance like the way that the 
The way that the synopsis is written makes it sound like it is a romance, but every review that I've read so far is like, don't go into it expecting a romance. So I don't know what the fuck that means, but I guess we'll see. In March, there are like three titles that I'm really excited about. So the first one is Act Your Age, Eve Brown, which is the third book in the Brown Sisters trilogy. I am so fucking excited about this. So basically, if you don't know, Talia Hibbert is basically queen of romance in my opinion. I really love her romances. I just think they're so good. And the way that she writes like emotional intimacy and stuff between her characters is just so good. And I just... Uh, I just love it so much. I think she's an amazing writer. I think her works are so funny and just like beautiful. So I'm really fucking excited to read the last book in the Brown Sisters trilogy. And this is about Eve Brown. She's the youngest sister. And I'm so blessed to have an arc of it. So like I'm really excited to read it and get to it and be able to share my thoughts on it with you guys. So then after that, we have The Unbroken by C.L. Clark. It's an adult fantasy novel with a sapphic protagonist. I believe the protagonist is a soldier. And um, I know that there's like a romance between between her and another woman in this book so I'm just excited about it because it's adult fantasy there's a black protagonist she's sapphic what more could I personally ask for is speaking very directly to my interests now I don't necessarily know what the plot is all about um but I guess we could read the synopsis together that could make some sense let's do that Terrain is a soldier, stolen as a child and raised to kill and die for the Empire. Her only loyalty is to her fellow conscripts. But now her company has been sent back to her homeland to stop a rebellion, and the tides of blood may be stronger than she thought. Luca needs a turncoat, someone desperate enough to tiptoe the bayonet's edge between treason and, and orders, someone who can sway the rebels toward peace. While Luca focuses on what really matters, getting her uncle off the throne, through assassinations and, massacre, and massacres in bedrooms and war rooms, Terrain and Luca will haggle over the price of a nation, but some things aren't for sale. Hmm. Interesting. That could be a cool dynamic. I'm really excited about it. And yeah. That comes out March 23rd. So the next book that I'm really excited about that's coming out in March is Sweet Hand. This is coming out March 30th. And this is an adult romance. And it's basically, um, I think it's one of those like enemies to lovers books. It's about these two people, Sharice and Kieran. And I believe they kind of don't like each other. But they're both in the wedding party of Sharice's sister, I believe. And yeah i'm excited about it it sounds like it'll be fun i know that sharice is a baker so this will probably be like a foodie romance which is always cool i love reading books where they like talk about food and like baking and stuff it always makes me really hungry but i love it so yeah i'm excited about this mostly excited because the cover is really gorgeous and i'm definitely a hoe for a good cover so if the cover is good i'm probably gonna want to read it anyways let's head into april so in april there's four titles coming out that i'm really excited about the first one being the intimacy experiment so this book is the second book um in a series it's the companion book to the roommate by rosie dannon which came out in 2020 but this book is about a woman who is a porn star or maybe an ex-porn star um but now she's like a sex educator and a rabbi and i don't know sounds interesting that's all i need to know it just sounds really cool and I really did enjoy The Roommate by Rosie Dannon. There were some things that I didn't love about The Roommate, mostly the third act, wink wink, but for the most part it was a cool book and I think that this book will probably be really cool as well. Um, the roommate was really like sex positive and I really like the way that it kind of, you know, investigates the sex work industry and especially like the porn industry and some of the failings of the industry but also the ways in which we need to make sure that we are respecting like porn stars and the work that they do and everything so i really appreciate what rosie dannon is doing with this series and so i'm excited to see you know how it continues on in the intimacy experiment so then we have twice shy by sarah hogel this book also comes out april 6th and this is about this girl i believe like one of her family members has passed away and they've gifted her a house or something like that and so she moves into this house and it's basically just her and like the the land's caretaker i don't know girl it sounds like some very rich people shit but it should be fun i really like sarah hogel's you deserve each other one of my favorite books of the last year so i think that this will be amazing and like girl i really don't care what it's about i just want to read it because of sarah hogel because i thought that you deserve each other was hilarious and it was also so romantic and so sweet and it was just like it was really brilliant in my opinion so i'm hoping that you know 
The second book will also be amazing. I don't think that this is a series. I don't think they're connected in any way, but still excited about it. Hopefully it'll be amazing. So the next one is The Girl with Stars Behind Her Eyes. And this book is about this girl and she's trying to break into like the indie rock scene. The reason that I'm excited about this is because I actually really love stories about like musicians and stuff. And this is about a black girl musician who's trying to be a rock star, which is like everything that I have wanted for so very long. And I'm just really excited about it. And I'm glad that I found this when I was scrolling on Goodreads one day. Um, but yeah, this is a romance somehow. I don't know exactly what scenario she's going to meet her love interest under. He'll probably be a rock star or some stuff like that. But all I really care about is black girl rock star. You had me at black girl rock star. I just, I need it in my life. So really excited about that one. And the next one going along with the same like musical musician vein uh, is the final revival of Opal and Nev. And this is coming out April 20th. And this book is sort of like Daisy Jones and the Six. I've seen it compared to Daisy Jones and the Six. And it's essentially about this like 70s Afro-punk rock group. And it's basically like them giving like the oral history of what really went down in the 70s with their band. And I'm excited about it. I really love Daisy Jones and the Six because of like the narrative structure and the way that it's told in like this interview format. And so I really like when novels kind of break convention and do um, non-traditional things with the structure of the narrative. So I'm excited about that. Hopefully that will also be present in the final revival of Opal and Nev. I'm really excited about it and it's just like we love to see it. I told you already that I really enjoy stories about musicians. I also read in the synopsis that this deals with like race. I I'm hoping that it will be like an interesting discussion on race in the music industry as well as just being like a compelling narrative and yeah so hopefully it'll be amazing and that's all the books that I'm excited about for April so now let's go on to May so in May um the first book that I'm really excited about is Sorrow Land by River Solomon and this is coming out on May 4th let me read you the synopsis because I don't know what this one is about e either. Like not even a little bit. I just want to read it because I read An Unkindness of Ghosts by River Solomon and I have reread it multiple times. It's one of my favorite sci-fi novels of all time. It's just really amazing in my opinion and I think that River Solomon is a great writer so I really would love to read their next book. Um, so let's see what Sorrow Land is about. Vern, seven months pregnant and desperate to escape the strict religious compound where she was raised, she flees for shelter in the woods. There she gives birth to twins and plans to raise them far from the influence of the outside world. Mm. But even in the forest, Vern is a hunted woman. Forced to fight back against the community that refuses to let her go, she unleashes she unleashes incredible brutality far beyond what a person should be capable of. Her body racked by inexplicable and uncanny changes. To understand her metamorphosis and to protect her small family, Vern has to face the past and more troublingly, the future outside of the woods, etc, etc. Who cares? It sounds interesting. Some kind of creepy metamorphosis is set in a forest. It's by River Solomon. I'm going to read it. Okay, so the next one that I'm really excited about is Ariadne by Jennifer Saint. And this is coming out, I believe, May 4th as well. Um, if you're not familiar with the Minotaur myth, basically Ariadne is the daughter of the king um, of Crete. So she is the princess of Crete and she has a relationship with Theseus, who is the hero in the Minotaur myth or whatever. And so basically this is a retelling focused on her, which I'm really excited about. Um, I really love mythological retellings. I'm a huge fan of like Madeline Miller with um, Cersei and the Song of Achilles. So I'm really excited to see that there are more um, mythological retellings coming out. And also the cover for this is just absolutely stunning. I'm just excited about this. I'm hoping that it'll be good. I've never read anything by this author before. But I, like I said, I am a huge fan of mythological retellings. And so hopefully this will be amazing. Um, yeah, women in Greek myths deserve their time to shine. So the next book is Son of the Storm which is coming out May 11th and this is also an adult fantasy novel with a black protagonist. So I'm really excited about this because it is a adult fantasy novel about a young scholar who is basically kind of disillusioned with his empire I believe and then he discovers a lot of like of the long buried history of the empire that he works for and I don't know it just sounds cool and exciting and I really want to support more black writers who are coming out with adult fantasy and so I love to see it really excited about it. So the next book I really want to read is Master of Gin. This is coming out May 11th and this is by P. Jelly Clark. This is the kind of the third book in a uh, series. Um, however, this is the first full novel. So 
The first book in this series is called A Dead Jin in Cairo. The second one is called The Haunting of Tram Car 15. And then we have this one, Master of Jin, which is a full length novel. So this series is about a character named Fatima and she is a detective for the Ministry of Alchemy. So the Ministry of like magic basically in this world where basically the veil has parted between like the magical world and the human world. And so it's set in Egypt and it's about like how um, you know, regular humans and magical creatures such as jinn and um, like these angel type creatures, they're all kind of living together slightly in harmony and she works for the Ministry of Alchemy who basically uh, deals with like magical crimes and stuff. So this is the third book in that series and I'm very excited about it. Um, I would highly recommend it. I think that Peter Jelly Clark's writing style is just amazing and the story is really fun. So I would totally recommend for you to read it if you have not already. It's set in Cairo in 1912. We have a wonderful female protagonist who is an icon and a legend. She's also sapphic so we love that. Um, so yeah I just feel like you should totally read this series if you have not already and the first two books in it are like really short so you should totally read it okay so then on may 25th how to find a princess by Alyssa cole is coming out and this is basically like a queer anastasia retelling uh so it's basically about this like long lost princess and the investigator that has been sent to find her and this is sapphic and i'm excited about it the cover is really gorgeous and yeah i mean what's not to love about that it just sounds amazing it sounds fun the cover is really pretty uh so yeah i'm very hyped for this one okay so the next book that i'm really excited about is malibu rising by taylor jenkins reed okay so this book is faintly connected to the seven husbands of evelyn hugo in the seven husbands of evelyn hugo one of evelyn's husband was a man named mcreva and this book malibu rising is about mcreva's children every year they have like this beach party at their house in malibu and i'm pretty sure this story is about like family drama that's what i'll say that it's about that's what the synopsis sounds like and i'm just excited about it he has like maybe four or five kids so it seems like there's going to be like a lot of different povs and i'm excited about it it just seems like it's going to be drama and scandal and i live for it so hopefully it'll be amazing i really love taylor jenkins writing and i have yet to find a book by her that i did not like so hopefully this one will be amazing as well so now we're moving on to june releases so in june uh, the first book that's coming out that I'm excited about is The Chosen and the Beautiful by Nevo. And this book is a Great Gatsby retelling. It's set from Jordan Baker's point of view. If you haven't read The Great Gatsby in a long time and you don't remember who the fuck Jordan Baker is, Jordan Baker is like Nick Carraway, the narrator's love interest. And so this book is going to be completely from her point of view. I've heard a lot of amazing things about Nevo as a writer and I'm excited about this book um, because I really love The Great Gatsby. So... Hopefully it'll be awesome. The next one that's coming out June 1st is One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston and this is a book about these two girls. It's a romance between two girls but one of them is stuck in like a time warp basically and they are, I don't know, they're trapped in some kind of time warp in this subway and I don't know. I don't understand it. I don't need to understand it. I really enjoy Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. So I'm going to read this regardless. I don't really care what it's about. But yeah, something about a time warp, something about sapphic women. I'm going to read it. The next one that I'm really excited about is The Jasmine Throne by Tasha Suri. This is a South Asian inspired adult fantasy with a sapphic protagonist or a sapphic relationship at the center of it, which I'm very, very excited about. Um, but yeah, so let's see. This is the beginning of a new trilogy. Um, it's inspired by the history and epics of India in which a captive princess and a maidservant in possession of forbidden magic become unlikely allies on a dark journey to save the empire from the princess's traitor brother. Exciting. Exciting. I love it. Everything about it. I love it. The last book I'm really excited about that's coming out in June is Darling by Kay Ancrum. Kay Ancrum is one of my favorite writers of all time. An icon, a legend. She is truly the moment. If you have not read a book by Kay Ancrum already, you should. You need to pre-order this book. Like Kay Ancrum is the moment. So I'm pretty sure Darling is a Peter Pan retelling and it's been pitched as like giving justice to Peter's victims. So I'm interested in it. I'm highly intrigued by it and I think that it'll be amazing just because Kate Anker's writing style is so interesting and her characters are always so captivating. Her stories are always a little weird but amazing and so yeah I think that this would be really great and I also think that it, like it is a Peter Pan retelling but it is set in like modern 
day. So that should make it also doubly interesting. So now for July. So in July, there are two books coming out and they're both coming out on July 20th. So that's interesting. So the first one I will tell you about is She Who Became the Sun. This book is a adult fantasy and I heard it. Okay, so this was the pitch that I saw on Goodreads. It was like, it says something about for fans of Mulan and the Song of Achilles. What does that mean? I don't know. Yeah, okay, so it says Mulan meets Song of Achilles in Shelley Parker Chan's She Who Became the Sun, a bold, queer, and lyrical reimagining of the rise of the founding emperor of the Ming Dynasty from amazing new voice in literary fantasy. Exciting. Yeah, so the next one that I want to tell you guys about is Isn't It Bromantic by Lisa K. Adams. This book is coming out also on July 20th, and this is the fourth book? Yeah, this is the fourth book in the Bromance Book Club series. Um, what the Bromance Book Club series is basically about this group of friends who they meet up and they talk about romance books to help them solve their romantic issues. I think that the series is in general enjoyable. I think that some of the books are a little bit of a hit, some are a miss, it really all depends. But the first book in the series is like so good in my opinion, I absolutely loved it. I have just been sticking with the series ever since even though the second one was kind of a dud for me. The third one was cool but not amazing. But I'm hoping that this one will be good. And so this one is about this character named The Russian. Ridiculous. Anyways, his real name is Vladimir but everyone always calls him The Russian. And he's a hockey player and this is about him and his wife. And they kind of married for convenience. Um, but the guy is really in love with her and she, I don't know if she's really in love with him, but he wants to like get their relationship to a more loving place and less of a we're only married for convenient reasons. Um, Cause I think that she needed like a visa or something. So anyways, it just, I don't know. I'm excited about it. I do think that Lisa K. Adams writing style is really amusing and typically her relationships are cute so I think that this would be fun and Vladimir was one of my favorite characters in the other books so hopefully the author will do him justice in his own book because in everyone else's book he's basically just a walking punchline so I'm hoping that she'll take him a little bit seriously in his own book but we shall see. So then August in August, A Lesson in Vengeance is coming out by Victoria Lee. I know that there's supposed to be, this is like a dark sapphic, dark academia. Um, so this is like a YA sapphic, dark academia novel. Um, and there's witches in it, maybe. And I don't want to know anything else about it. I just want to be surprised. I really love Victoria Lee. Her Fever Wake series is amazing. If you have not read it and you enjoy like YA fantasy sci-fi books, you should totally read that series. Um, but yeah. I just really love Victoria Lee, willing to read whatever she writes. So the next book that's coming out in August that I really want to read is The Heart Principle. This is coming out August 17th. It's the part of the same series as The Bride Test and The Kiss Quotient, also by Helen Huang. Uh, so this third book we follow a character named Quan and he is the brother and the cousin of the two like male leads in the other two books. Uh, I'm really excited about this. I really love Quan. He is amazing and hopefully his book will also be amazing. His book got pushed back. It was supposed to come out in 2020 but it's coming out in 2021 and in August and it just feels like it's light years away but I need it. I love Quan so much like Ah, oh, my king. So anyways, I'm really excited about his book. Only two more books that I need to tell you guys about, um, and these are coming out in September. So in September we have Jade Legacy coming out. Jade Legacy is the third book in the Greenbone Saga. Greenbone Saga is about these two mafia families that are at war with each other over their country's jade supply. The jade in this country is magical and so if you have the jade and you control the jade you control a large amount of like the country's economy and uh, you also have more power because the jade gives you power and like it makes you able to fight better and stuff like that. It's a really cool um, like urban fantasy series. I really love it. Mafia fantasy is clearly like my new thing. Obsessed with it. I love criminals. Clearly. Why? I don't know. But love me a good criminal. And the Greenbone Saga is just really amazing in my opinion. Excited to see the conclusion. Hopefully it won't disappoint me. And hopefully my fans won't die. But we'll see. The last book that I want to tell you guys about is Under the Whispering Door by TJ Klune. This book is about a guy who dies and he's a ghost and then like the fairy man who's supposed to like you know take him to the afterlife that he falls in love with and I'm excited about it. I have to say that I'm really excited about it. TJ Klune is always writing some weird shit just 
quirky, weird, strange, gay ass books. And that's exactly what I need in my life. So I'm very excited about this. If you have never read a TJ Klune book before, please do it. Highly recommend reading The House in the Cerulean Sea. TJ Klune is just a really amazing writer. Really love his stuff. And I'm very excited to read this one. And it just sounds weird, but cool at the same time. So yeah, excited. How many times did I say excited in this video? It should have been a drinking game. You'd probably be in a coma. But anyways, those are the titles that I'm really looking forward to in 2021. Let me know what books you guys are really excited to read in 2021. I would love to hear about them and maybe add them to my TBR. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Bye, you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. And a special thank you to all of my wonderful patrons.